Let's go across to Pradeep Dutta is joining us live from Ashkelon. Pradeep, there are horrifying images and videos coming to fore. Tell us what do you see there on Ground Zero? See, all I can say is that short while back, we too had narrow escape while we were on our way to Eskalo and all of a sudden, that shrill voice of, voice of siren uh, started reverberating and immediately after that, two, three rockets were fired from the Gaza side. Let me show you the car, the condition of this car. This happened just short while back when all of a sudden, the rocket exploded here and immediately after that, this car, car got converted into a flame, a ball of flame. And you can look at the condition of the car that narrates the whole story, that narrates the story of death, that narrates the story of destruction, terror, terror any barbarism and brutality. Unfortunately, there are some people still today, they are trying to justify this act of violence being committed by Hamas people because they are the terrorists and they are committing the worst ever crime. And because short while back, we had also to take shelter inside the bomb shelter nearby. They started pounding rockets. There was no other option but to flee to the nearby bomb shelter. When we went inside the bomb shelter, we saw the two-year-old baby. We saw aged man lying on bed because he can't be taken to hospital for the last two days. A wife who is 75 years old, she was crying. There were tears in her eyes because they don't know how to take her, him to hospital because regularly, at uh, frequently, they are firing uh, sh uh, shells. They are pounding rockets in this area. Look at the condition. Let me again show you. Look at the condition of this car. This is not because of any accident. It is because because of the rocket being fired from the Gaza side and see what really happened. And let me show you the condition of this building because this is the building where uh, this rocket attack took place. And why now this rocket was fired here in this area? Because in this building, most of the international journalists had been putting up. Somewhere they do not want the world to know the Israel side of the story because they had been trying to play victim card. And as I had been saying from day one, when they took the people as captive, I said that they will be using them as a bargaining ship because they want uh, to uh, what? put pressure on the Benjamin Netanyahu government and then second they want to tell Benjamin Netanyahu to stop uh, shelling in that area mm. otherwise they will start executing people publicly what they have already started doing because we have seen that how they entered inside and when the shell this uh, rocket started exploding you rightly said because the only thumb rule which one has to follow and we also did the same thing to lie on ground and then crawl and rush towards the bomb shelter nearby that's how you can save your life because it's rightly said uncertainty is the only certainty in cri uh, conflict zone and truth is the first casualty here in this case also we can see the several versions coming from different sides but mm. all I can say is that it's only the people on both the sides continue to suffer but Hamas will not realize this thing because we saw that there was an unprovoked aggression from the side on Saturday last Saturday when at about 6 30 there was a blaring sound of siren immediately after that about 5,000 rockets were fired and under the cover of the rocket they tried to infiltrate in this area and uh, use even the motorized paragliders to come mm. out to this place and from that day onwards we have seen only oppression and now what the Israeli forces are doing, that's a retaliation, that's a period that they have carried out. Because the problem is that these Hamas people, they're hiding behind the population. They're putting right. up in populated area. Any explosion taking place in Gaza will lead to the casualty of the civilian. That's what exactly they want. Because they know once the civilian will die, they will try to further indoctrinate and All brainwash right. young minds and ask them to join Hamas and fight against the All Israeli right, people because they want vicious cycle of violence to continue. Let yes. me show you again. Yes, they the want this. See the hmm. condition of this car, that narrates the story of death and destruction going on here. Absolutely. They want the cycle of violence to continue, Pradeep. For the moment, thank you very much for getting us the live report, but also stay safe out there.